This YouTube short on my channel just went viral, so I'm gonna try and do it all again with a brand new video. Three months ago, I uploaded my first YouTube short, and today it's sitting at 12 million views and it got 49,000 subscribers on its own, which is crazy. So I thought to myself, can I use the exact same formula to do it all again? But first, I want to understand why this original short was so successful, starting with the idea. The short is about why it's a terrible idea to buy fake YouTube subscribers. It's a topic that interests other YouTubers because it's also quite controversial. It's a method that's well known to be forbidden by YouTube, so I think that makes people even more curious to watch it. And I actually already knew all of this because I've made this video before. Almost a whole year ago, I made a much longer video about this exact same topic, which also did pretty well. So I decided to make a shorter version using a lot of the same footage. All I did was rewrite the script so it had a better structure for shorts, then re-recorded my Myself to tell the story in a more efficient way. And because this method of repurposing actually worked, I decided to do the exact same thing with my next short, using this older video about buying YouTube watch time, applying the exact same structure, which I hoped would have the same effect in terms of reach. Then there's SEO. Whilst we're obviously hoping to get millions of views in the shorts feed, it's also important to remember that shorts can also be found via search results. As you can see, if we look at the numbers, my viral video gained over 700 thousand views from search alone and that's from using the exact same keywords as my original video and again this is something that I was keen to repeat in my second short as well and obviously I had all of the keywords ready to go from the original longer upload but even if you use all of the right keywords that doesn't mean your video is going to get millions of views right away in fact this original short didn't go properly viral until about two months after posting as you can see the views graph was pretty flat for a long time until suddenly the growth spiked. But why? As expected, the vast majority of that traffic came from the video being shown in the shorts feed. And digging deeper into the analytics and the structure of the video itself, we can start to understand why this crazy growth started to happen and then copy it for the next one. First of all, 77% of people who saw my viral video in their feed chose to carry on watching rather than swiping away, which means that the intro of this video hooked people in. Let's take a look at it now. What actually happens when you buy fake YouTube subscribers? So there you go. In the first five seconds, you know exactly what the video is about. And it also introduces a question that needs an answer. So straight away, that gives you a reason to carry on watching instead of swiping away. Remember that your short is competing with millions of other videos in the same feed. So you're actually fighting for people's attention in those first few seconds. The video starts with a fast camera zoom to help draw some focus. Then the bright yellow subtitles mean that even people who are watching with no audio can still follow along. The intro of your short is essentially like a thumbnail. So I went ahead and did the exact same thing with the new watch time short. As you can see, the two intros are basically identical. But even if you hook people in right at the start of your video, you still need to carry on convincing them to keep watching until the end. And that's something that my viral short did manage to do. On average, the 12 million people who started viewing this short ended up watching 89% of the whole thing. Looking at the detailed activity graph, you can see that it's pretty smooth, which means that people weren't swiping away at any specific point later in the video. In fact, if people watched until seven seconds, they pretty much watched all the way through the video, which is exactly what you want to see. This short is also really fast paced in general. In fact, it doesn't stay on one shot for more than a couple of seconds. So with the next short, I decided to take this to the next level, adding extra B-roll, more clips, faster cuts to try and make the average view duration equally as high. And it worked. The watch time short got 86% retention. But here's the thing, the views were still much, much lower. So at this point, I decided to go back to the drawing board and start planning a third YouTube short. But first, I needed to dig even deeper into why the original short did so well. After the intro, it goes straight into this. To find now I dived into the dark corners of the internet black market where sneaky methods are sold that could get your channel banned. So straight after the hook, I upped the stakes and showed the risks. This introduces some more curiosity because it emphasizes the fact that this method of growth is actually pretty dodgy. It also lets the viewer know that if this experiment goes wrong, then my channel will get deleted. So it gives them another reason to carry on watching and see what happens. I went ahead and paid a dodgy website $33 for 1000 subs and 
standard delivery. So this next section just shows the proof that I actually bought the fake subscribers. So the viewer now knows that there's no clickbait going on here. There's also this funnier moment with the wrong spelling of standard, which again ups the stakes because it feels like the whole thing is about to go wrong. There's some jeopardy. And two weeks later, I was excited to see the results. But all was not well. Now I could have revealed all the results right then, but instead I chose to drag it out a little bit longer. This is just another example of a curiosity loop. Basically every few seconds I'm giving the viewer another reason to carry on watching, which is stopping them from swiping away. Only 94 subscribers arrived on my channel and my videos got zero views. So again, I'm not showing all of the results at once. I'm giving them one number at a time, gradually bit by bit, just enough to keep them engaged. But it got even worse. YouTube also started deleting these fake subscribers and because my followers didn't click on my content I stopped getting recommended as well. So that is what actually happened. So at the end of the video just spirals down and down and the results get worse and worse and then it loops back around to the start in that seamless way which I know some people find a little bit cheesy but it actually does work to boost retention because a lot of people end up watching the video for a second time. But here's the thing I did all of these same things in the second video. It had curiosity loops, it had a lot of the same jeopardy leading to that high retention, but I still didn't understand why it was getting so many less views until I noticed this. If we take a look at the retention of my shorts in general, you'll notice that a lot of them have a high average percentage viewed in the 70s, 80s and 90%. But if we take a look at the viewed versus swiped away metric, you'll notice that the more people who choose not to swipe away and view the video, the higher the overall view count on the short is. So for that video that went viral, 77% of people chose to watch that video and it got 12 million views. But for the second video, only 49% of people carried on watching when they saw the intro, meaning that the idea introduced in the first few seconds just wasn't as interesting to people. So that's exactly what I changed in video number three. I found another older long form video that had already done pretty well. I wrote a new short script using the exact same structure and put a short together with a very similar pace and even the same music. And in this video, 70 97% of people didn't swipe away, so the intro was strong. It got 97% retention, so the rest of the video was engaging. And at the time of recording, it's currently sitting at 2.8 million views. So it's going viral. And this just goes to show that making a successful YouTube short isn't just about some really slick editing and high watch time. It's about that central idea being really good and something that grabs people's attention from the start. Now, once you do have that idea for your next YouTube short, there are actually some other super important but really simple steps that you can use to take them to the next level and I've put them all in this video here. So I'll see you over there.